Hey everybody, Sean Tubbs here. Thanks for tuning in. This is the Petty John Gold Mark II. This is the updated version of the first Petty John Gold pedal that sounded great. This one is definitely a step up uh, in my humble opinion. Uh, one thing to note uh, that I really appreciate about this is this pedal now runs at a true 36 volts off of a nine volt power supply. So it's got a dual rail power in there. And that's so important because they use all top shelf studio grade components in this guy. And if it's not seeing that type of voltage, it's just not gonna sound quite is good it's not going to have quite the headroom so it's really nice that you can just plug in a 9 volt power supply and be off to the races with this thing and, and you know it's running proper the other thing to note is it now has uh, basically a silent bypass there's no pops or clicks obviously the chassis is different um, the layout is a little bit clearer um, as far as how everything is labeled, I, th I think it looks really great. Now the controls are essentially the same. You've got a level control and a gain control. The level does what you think it does. It's the output of the pedal. The gain control obviously controls your gain, but in this case on the Mark II, that gain range has been expanded and it's amazing and we'll get into that in the demo. And then you also get uh, a low and high cut control. We'll get into that in the demo. And then you get a mid frequency control that's sweepable. So you can choose any frequency. It's a bell frequency from 400 all the way to 2K and you can boost or cut that frequency, I believe 8 dB. I hope I'm not wrong. I think it's uh, 8 dB boost or cut and it makes it so versatile because if you want the Marshall barky mids or you want maybe a fatter um, you know thump in your solo tones or maybe you're wanting it to sound more like a, a wah pedal that's been set at a certain uh, range um, you can nail that with this pedal because this is so uh, plexi in feel and sound it's it's basically a plexi all the way to even a JCM 900 and having that sweepable mid uh, really really helps now on the inside of the pedal there are two internal switches now in stock form the switch on the left is going to allow you to choose essentially between two different uh, caps and I, I can't remember which caps are I think it's uh, one is a Oh, I can't remember, but in the, in the up setting, when the switch is up, the, the highs are punchy and clear. When the switch is down, um, you'll get a more kind of vintage, maybe smoother high. It is very subtle, but it does make a difference, and we'll check it out in the demo. On the uh, other side, the other switch that's in there is going to allow you to choose between your clipping modes. Now, in stock form, you're going to get a high headroom clipping which is how it comes stock. If you throw the switch all the way to the bottom, you're gonna get a lower headroom uh, clipping. And we'll get into how that sounds in the demo. It's really cool. But also if you put that switch in the center, you totally bypass the clipping. And it's a really cool way to run this pedal, especially if you wanna run it as an always on. And we'll check that out in the demo as well. Now what I want you to do is go to the website and check out all of the custom shop mods that can be done on this pedal. I mean, the sky's the limit. I'm just looking here. You can choose an audiophile vintage mod, an RE cap. Um, it's, I mean, it, it, the sky's the limit there. You can do uh, clipping mods which I thought was really cool. Uh, in the standard setting, we talked about that, but you can do what's called the Clonish mod, uh, which is awesome because they actually have the NOS uh, germanium diodes that are so magical in that pedal. And I would think if you wanna get that mod, you might wanna jump on it because I know those are hard to source. <laughs> um, you can do the Nanolog Devices N2. Uh, it's like a new school quantum tech thing that's just nuts. You could try that out. And of course, they also have what's called a magic mod, which is really crazy. Uh, it's a total of six NOS uh, germanium diodes. That's kind of crazy. So just that alone, I mean, you can you can really get deep into the mods that are available, but I think just in stock form, this pedal's really cool. So without further yammering on and staring at my iPad, let's check out this Petty John Gold Mark II. Okay, let's check this out. I'm gonna use my Sir Bella amp. I've got it dialed relatively clean. If I hit it with a back humbucker that's fairly hot on this guitar, there'll be a little bit of breakup. But if I hit it with a neck position single coil, pretty clean. Here is the uh, Petty John Gold Mark II. Thank you. 
So right away, it's just got that, yeah, vintage, maybe slightly modified uh, plexi feel and sound to it. Let's just check out the level and gain controls really quick. There's quite a bit of level coming off this pedal. Um, if you want to run less gain and actually maybe uh, boost uh, the level of the pedal, that's kind of a cool tone. I really dig that. Now we can go the other way and crank gain. This pedal is certainly broadened uh, from the original uh, Petty John Gold. Um, doesn't fall apart when it's cranked all the way up, but it backs off really nice too. So just a really great feeling pedal. Uh, I love the amount of gain that it has on tap. Let's just check out the uh, lows and highs really quick. I'm gonna just sweep them left and right and let you guys check it out. So here's the low. Lows are cut now. I'll do the same thing with the highs. Here's the highs off. Highs at noon. Cranked. I really liked the highs actually boosted that much, especially when I was going to do a backed off kind of Marshall-y Strat thing. So big and expressive sounding. So nice sounding. So that's the highs and the lows. Now let's get into this mid sweep. Um, I really appreciate it on this pedal. Um, I'm just gonna, I think what I'll do is let me just boost the mids, the level. So I'm gonna be boosting basically 8 dB and I'm just gonna sweep the mids across. Let's start at 400. <laughs> cut, of course, 8 dB, and we'll go the other way. We're at 2K, I'll sweep across. So what I really like about this control and how it can be utilized is if, you know, you're digging your lows and your highs, but you're wanting more of, say, that Marshall Plexi bark, well, you can move maybe a little closer to 2K and then just start slowly turning up those mids. So with it relatively flat, I mean, this isn't like, uh, it doesn't have like a detent in the center, so. But it's relatively flat. If I wanna start having things bark a little bit more, I can turn that up a little bit. Now I'm getting that, that high. That kind of high bark that I really dig about, you know, some of those old plexi tones. Now, what I did notice is as you crank the mids, especially when you're doing it, you know, closer to the 2K mark, uh, it will, you know, add a little bit of gain, which is to be expected. Maybe you 
just want fat or single notes, we can go the other way, turn up the gain, maybe run the mids hotter, kind of closer to maybe here. Let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> drag so many tones out of this pedal uh, just with the uh, the amount of just tweakability you have in the highs lows and the sweepable mid now what I want to show you really quick let me get this to uh, let's kind of set it up here <laughs> So right now I'm in the stock setting. There's two switches in there. I think the first switch I'm gonna throw, it'll be a little subtle. I think if you're listening to this on like an iPhone or laptop speakers, you might not catch it. But the first uh, switch I'll throw for you is basically the, the high cut. Right now it's really punchy and clear. You can have it sound a little bit more vintage by uh, throwing the switch down. So I'll do that now. I've got it set up so I can just open it and move the switch. And I think what I'll do is I just hit the switch. You may not even notice it. I'm going to try. So it is, it's a more vintage top end. It's not quite as bright. Let me just throw it really quick. Okay, now we're back to the punchy high setting. It's pretty subtle. You hear it right away if you're listening on mains or if you're listening to in-ears, but that's what that is doing. And honestly, I can't decide which one I like better. They both sound killer. Um, the other setting is essentially it's uh, high headroom clipping and lower headroom clipping. Right now we're in the high headroom clipping. This you will hear. It's gonna feel different, less headroom. So it feels a little bit softer. It's a little more spongy and vintagey feeling. So I think if you know you wanted more of, uh, you know, maybe even solo tones that just feel a little bit. They've got a little bit more sag and compression to them. another way to run the pedal now what I will do and you know it's to each his own if you want there's a setting in the center on this switch which essentially shuts off the clipping so we can check that out it sounds better when you keep the gain lower that sounds really great so if you wanted to use this pedal as more of kind of a always on pedal or a boost pedal, you could shut that clipping circuit completely off. And now it's just this big tone enhancer. Now if we run more gain, start getting a little, a little crazy. But if you keep the gain down, and then like I mentioned, just maybe use it as a tone enhancing almost always on pedal. That's really killer sounding. So there's just so much you can do with this pedal. Um, it's really well thought out. It sounds and feels great. If you love, you know, Marshall Plexi tones and JCM 800 and even 900 tones, you're going to have no problem getting that out of this pedal. So that is the Petty John uh, Gold Mark II. If you've got any further questions about the pedal, go to the website and check it out. There's lots of options for, uh, as I mentioned before, the, you know, op amps and clipping modes and even the way it bypasses. There's so much you can do with this pedal. So as always, I really appreciate you guys tuning in and we will see you next time.